saw the news. How did a Hungarian MEP break lockdown rules in Brussels recently? Oh, he went to a sex party. He did go to a sex he went party. To, yeah. He went to a, I think they called it a, a gay daddy orgy. His name is Yosef Shire, a family member of Viktor Orban's right-wing anti-gay Fidesz party, uh, and was caught at an orgy in Brussels, uh, yeah. which was described by the organiser as a daddy orgy. Uh, which, <laughs> look, I know that in the gay community that may mean something, it may, mean a whole other, it may have a whole other characterization, like, but to me, it just means that it's just those are dads at an orgy. <laughs> and somebody comes up to one of the dads and goes, I'm really horny. And he goes, Hello, really horny, I'm John. <laughs> <laughs> Just a night of dad jokes uh, and dad, dads going from room to room yep. at the orgy, turning off the lights if there's no one in that room, <laughs> and making sure the heating is down yeah. in the orgy. Oh, 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 I'm, not, I'm not heating Brussels here. Uh, and <laughs> down. He's, he's a founder member of the, of the far right party, and he, now, he says he wants his mistake to be seen in context of his 30 years of service. Yeah. There, that makes it worse. Because his 30 years of service was voting against gay marriage and voting against gay people being allowed to adopt. That makes it all the more galling that he should... Is it one of those things where he's like, ah, to defeat the gay, I must think like a gay. <laughs> <laughs> it, ma it makes me think, then, is Jeremy Corbyn secretly a rabbi? <laughs> <laughs> Closeted homophobic politicians always go so extreme with their big reveal, don't they? It's never just like, oh, this homophobic politician was caught stealing a kiss under the moonlight. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite part about the audience question here is that the police tried to break it up and apparently they thought they were like strippers as well, so yes. they were trying to undress the police as well. But I, I think the police didn't help themselves when they walked in saying, my name's Officer Hardbody and I'm looking for a very naughty MP. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was a... I mean, a, a gay orgy where loads of men arrived in, in police uniforms and they didn't believe them. No, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. You're really taking... You're really, really taking this role play seriously, aren't you? <laughs> Because there were 25 of them there, weren't there? And then when they left, they got 225 euro fines, which is only nine euro a shag. <laughs> <laughs> also, the guy who ran the orgy said that he reckons there was a tip off by the police oh, okay. by a guy who runs a rival orgy. <laughs> 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 What is Brussels like that there are rival sex parties? Who knew West Side Story could get more gay? <laughs> <laughs> I think Brussels, because of its, its community of people, diplomatic people passing through, like whatever. But can't all these orgies just get along? <laughs> <laughs> Is this why Brexit negotiations are taking so long? Because they've decided to make them tantric. Diego, I'm going to and glad.